Episode 56 XU September 12, 2024. Wood burning pollution was not a topic at the presidential debate. In episode 56 XU 1 United States, 2 Alaska, 3 Arizona, 4 California, 5 Colorado, 6 Florida, 7 Idaho, 8 Maine, 9 Minnesota, 10 Missouri, 11 Montana, 12 New York, 13 Oregon, 14 Wisconsin, 15 Canada, 16 Brazil, 17 United Kingdom, 18 Ghana, 19 Nigeria, 20 India, 21 Thailand, 22 PM, 2.5, and human health 20. 3 Wood Smoke and Lung Cancer. Main Content. 1A United States. The New York Times. Climate at the debate. Trump ignored the question and Harris hedged. Raw Zep View. Wood burning emits 2.8 times the PM 2.5 as the fossil fuel coal burning. Wood burning emits 450 times the PM 2.5 as the fossil fuel natural gas burning. Replacing the United Kingdom Drax coal-fired power plant with a wood burning power plant resulted in CO2 levels emitted by the new Drax wood-fired power plant at four times the levels of the previous coal-fired power plant, according to a recent report by Ember. The United Kingdom subsidizes wood burning and is considering subsidizing the decades-long failed experiment of carbon capture of wood burning emissions and the extremely questionable to the point of absurdity solution to storing wood burning carbon emissions under the ocean. The United Kingdom recently fined Drax 33 million US dollars for using precious ancient trees mostly from Canadian forests and from the southern United States for wood burning for energy in the United Kingdom Drax wood burning power plant. Differentiating between precious ancient trees and ordinary trees ignores the fact that when wood is burned, whether it is wood from ancient precious trees or ordinary trees, the PM 2.5 levels emitted are the same. This reverence for precious ancient trees is reverence usually only for trees and the animal and other plant habitat that surrounds those precious ancient trees. Raw's view is that burning wood should be stopped to avoid the negative health consequences to humans of wood burning PM 2.5 emissions. That alone can be the argument for stopping wood burning and in the process of stopping wood burning to protect human health the trees themselves and their habitat will also be protected. What has created this avoidance of considering wood burning air pollution a problem that affects the health and lives of human beings adversely? There is a scientifically debunked concept called the carbon neutrality of wood burning. The wood burning industry and their lobbyists state that wood burning should continue presumably because it is called renewable. Wood may be renewable in the sense that a tree can be planted in the place of a cut down burn tree, but it takes centuries or decades for the newly planted tree to attain the stature of the cut down burn tree. During those centuries or decades photosynthesis, which converts CO2 to oxygen and so sequesters some carbon will not take place at the same rate as photosynthesis was performed previously. And wood burning emits both CO2 and PM2.5, and PM2.5 is not absorbed by trees so PM2.5 is not diminished by planting a tree in the place of a cut down and burn tree. Wood burning emits 90% PM2.5 particulate matter of 2.5 micrometer size, the perfect size to infiltrate the human lung setting off a cascade of human health problems and early deaths. A recent research article shows that trees hold their breath just as humans do in the presence of the toxin of PM2.5 from wildfire wood burning. Photosynthesis is stopped or slowed in the presence of PM2.5 from wildfire wood burning. The deposit of PM2.5 on tree bark is as minimal and inconsequential in preventing human health problems from wood burning emissions as deposit of PM2.5 on a blanket laid on the forest floor. Raw Zep View but the scientifically debunked concept of carbon neutrality of wood burning has been written into climate change goals of all nations around the world. An international convention does not count the emissions from wood burning. The emissions from wood burning are erased from all countries around the world when calculating if each country has met its climate goals. This non-counting or erasure of wood burning emissions data from climate goals does not mean wood burning emissions do not exist. This allows all nations around the world to ignore wood burning emissions when stating these nations are meeting their climate goals. This results in any nation meeting its climate goals of reducing CO2 and PM2.5 on paper when in actuality CO2 and PM2.5 levels are increased when swapping out coal burning with wood burning. Razep view natural gas is 450 times cleaner in terms of PM2.5 emissions than wood burning. Avoiding the reality of wood burning emissions will bring us closer not farther away from climate change. Avoiding the reality of wood burning emissions will bring us more human suffering and early deaths. Razep view. The impetus for residents against wood smoke emissions was that members were near neighbors of indoor residential wood burners, and as near neighbors experienced firsthand like canaries in a coal mine the adverse health effects of being exposed to indoor residential wood burning. The United States government should instead of certifying wood stoves as safe when they are not safe go forward with regulations that ban wood stove use and direct government money for use of forest refuse only for home building and furniture building. For just a few examples of use of forest products for non-burning uses. The emission data that shows that wood burning emits 2.8 times the CO2 and PM2.5 as the fossil fuel coal burning, and the emissions data that shows that wood burning emits 450 times the PM2.5 emissions as the fossil fuel natural gas burning comes from testing the cleanest burning wood stove in the United Kingdom, the Eco Design Wood Stove. PM2.5 is not a greenhouse gas, although it has as much or more adverse impact on human health as any greenhouse gas. The CO2 emitted by indoor residential wood burning and any wood burning is a greenhouse gas, but wood burning emissions of CO2 are ignored because of the scientifically debunked theory of carbon neutrality of wood burning. Raw Zep view. To win an election, Vice President Kamala Harris can state the present policy of the Biden administration is allowing fracking to obtain natural gas in the interim before the truly clean renewable of wind, solar, and geothermal are widely available. Natural gas is the least polluting fossil fuel in terms of PM2.5 and natural gas is the least polluting bridge to the truly clean energy sources of wind and solar. Battery storage also has to be improved so that wind and solar energy can be stored effectively. Raw Zep view. The Inflation Reduction Act, which is providing more than $370 billion for wind, solar, and other clean energy projects, is providing up to $8,000 per household based on a sliding income scale for rebates for heat pumps, which are a truly clean alternative to indoor residential wood burning. Heat pumps work down to 40 degrees below zero, can double as air conditioners, run on electricity, and lower monthly heating bills immediately. Heat pump rebates began in New York State and will begin in a second state, Wisconsin, in September or shortly after this fall. 
The Inflation Reduction Act also is providing $8.3 billion for rural electrification, of which over $500 million will go to rural electrification in Wisconsin, starting with the Rural Cooperative Dairyland Power Cooperative, which will generate electricity using wind and solar energy. Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. September 11, 2024. Vice President Kamala Harris nodded to the urgency of climate change, but also highlighted the U.S. record levels of oil and gas production. September 11, 2024. At the tail end of the hottest summer in recorded history, as wildfires tear through California and a hurricane heads toward Louisiana, both Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald J. Trump failed to say how they would fight climate change during their debate Tuesday night. It was the final question posed during the 90-minute exchange. Ms. Harris acknowledged the problem, noting the former president has said that climate change is a hoax and what we know is that it is very real. Ms. Harris made a largely economic argument, noting that federal subsidies for clean energy, which includes wind and solar power, have created new jobs and spurred manufacturing. And, in an unusual turn, Ms. Harris boasted that under the Biden administration, natural gas production has reached record highs. It is a point that until very recently the administration had been reluctant to emphasize. We have invested a trillion dollars in a clean energy economy while we have also increased domestic natural gas production to historic levels, Ms. Harris said on Tuesday. Earlier in the debate, Ms. Harris suggested that developing more oil and gas was important to national security. My position is that we have got to invest in diverse sources of energy, so we reduce our reliance on foreign oil, she said. We have had the largest increase in domestic oil production in history. Mr. Trump asked directly his plans for addressing the planetary threat, dodged the question entirely. Instead, Mr. Trump repeatedly hammered Ms. Harris on fracking and claimed that if she wins the White House, she would ban it. Many environmentalists oppose fracking because it can pollute groundwater. I will not ban fracking, Ms. Harris said Tuesday. Ms. Harris noted that she cast the tiebreaking vote on the Inflation Reduction Act, which is providing more than $370 billion for wind, solar, and other clean energy projects. But Kamala Harris stressed that the legislation also opened new leases for fracking. Mr. Trump is virtually incomprehensible on the topic of climate change. On Tuesday night, he said he was a big fan of solar power but then complained that solar farms take up too much space. He has railed against electric vehicles but then also said he was a big fan after receiving an endorsement from the head of Tesla. Asked about global warming, the former president typically says the greater threat is nuclear warming, by which he seems to mean nuclear war. He has pledged to shred President Biden's climate policies. The Sierra Club said Ms. Harris still managed to present a clear choice. The stakes in this election were on full display tonight, with one candidate offering a vision for a clean energy future and the other spouting incoherent lies and conspiracy theories, said the national political director for the Sierra Club, an environmental group. 1B United States. The New York Times. Republican science denial has nasty real-world consequences. Razep view. The advocacy for near neighbors to be free of the PM 2.5 pollution from indoor residential wood burning is based on science. The advocacy for purple air PM 2.5 monitors to prove the existence of PM 2.5 pollution in the yards of near neighbors that sickens the near neighbors is based on science. Using science to achieve the goal of stopping polluting and health-denying PM 2.5 emissions from wood burning is the core of Razep's arguments and advocacy against wood burning. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Razep's editor was witness to the depravity of people of normal intelligence choosing to spread disease by not heeding the instructions of public health officials to simply wear masks and get vaccinated. There is no excuse for causing unnecessary deaths when public health officials have made it clear the steps to take to avoid these deaths. During the COVID-19 pandemic, it was revealed that there are two types of people in this world, those who care about other people and do not wish their deaths, and those who do not care about other people and wish their deaths. The excuses for this depraved behavior are examined in this article. Razep view is that physicians and public health officials utilizing modern science are the experts to trust during a pandemic if you care about your own health and the health of other people. Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. September 11, 2024. A substantial number of Republican voters are losing faith in science. In April 2020, 14% reported that they had little or no faith that scientists would act in the best interest of the public. By October 2023, that figure had risen to 38%. Over the same period, the share of Democrats who voiced little or no confidence rose much less, and from a smaller baseline to 13% from 9%. Empirical data do not support the conclusion of a crisis of public trust in science, a historians of science wrote in their 2022 article from anti-government to anti-science, why conservatives have turned against science. But the data do support the conclusion of a crisis of conservative trust in science. A paper published by the Journal of the American Medical Association on July 31st, Trust in Physicians and Hospitals During the COVID-19 Pandemic in a 50-State Survey of U.S. Adults by Doctors and Health Specialists reports that in every sociodemographic group in this survey study, trust in physicians and hospitals decreased substantially over the course of the pandemic, from 71.5% in April 2020 to 40.1% in January 2024. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the authors write, medicine and public health more broadly became politicized, with the internet amplifying public figures and even physicians encouraging individuals not to trust the advice of public health experts and scientists. Consider in 2000, 46% of Democrats and 47% of Republicans expressed a great deal of confidence in scientists. In 2022, these respective percentages were 53% and 28%. Some people suffer from poor dental health in part because their parents distrusted fluoridation of drinking water. The national failure to invest in combating climate change has raised the odds of pandemics. Bogus notions that vaccines may cause autism, that hydroxychloroquine may cure COVID, and that climate change is not real have become linchpins of MAGA-era conservatism. There was a partisan divide over how to deal with the COVID pandemic, especially support for and opposition to mandatory vaccination. The roots of the divergence, however, go back at least 50 years with the creation of the Environmental Protection Agency and the Occupational Safety and Health Administration in 1970, along with the enactment that same year of the Clean Air Act and two years later of the Clean Water Act. 
This new role thrusts science into the center of political debates with the result that federal agencies like the EPA and OSHA are considered adversarial to corporate interests. Thus, science, particularly environmental and public health science, became the target of conservative anti-regulatory attitudes. A January 2023 paper, Is Cancer Treatment Immune from Partisan Conflict? How Partisan Communication Motivates Opposition to Preventative Cancer Vaccination in the U.S. explores differences in responses to a promising medical treatment using anti-cancer vaccinations between Republicans and Democrats. The fundamental principle of science is that evidence, not authority, tradition, rhetorical eloquence, or social prestige, should triumph. This commitment makes science a radical force in society, challenging and disrupting sacred myths, cherished beliefs, and socially desirable narratives. When Ronald Reagan quipped in 1986, the nine most terrifying words in the English language are I am from the government and I am here to help, he was signaling the escalation of the conservative anti-government movement. Trump and his MAGA movement have been occupied since 2015, not only with spreading incessant lies, but also with dispersing a loss of faith, leaving advances in modern science as one of many casualties. 1C United States. The New York Times. I feel like she humiliated him how Trump lost the debate. Raw view. The views expressed by Trump during the debate are illustrative of Trump's practice of spreading extensive lies while leaving modern science a casualty. Kamala Harris makes the argument which Ronald Reagan railed against. Kamala Harris essentially said during the debate I am from the government and I am here to help. Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. September 11, 2024. She baited Trump, and he took the bait every single time. He ranted incoherently. She gave these kind of crisp, concise answers. She did not get hung up on explaining her past positions. But I also do not think that she came off as evasive. One sign of how well she did is that conservatives are apoplectic about the moderators and saying how unfair this was to Trump. When, really, I think the one place where the moderators did Kamala Harris a favor was in letting Trump talk so much. And I believe he spoke much more than she did. And the more he spoke, the more angry and unhinged he seemed. What does it mean to take Trump down? I mean, I feel like she humiliated him. I feel like there was something very cathartic in having somebody finally say to his face that you are a disgrace. We are going to be hearing again and again and again that he would not answer the question of whether he would veto an abortion ban and actually disassociated himself from the answer J.D. Vance gave when J.D. Vance said that he would veto an abortion ban. It is going to be difficult for the Trump campaign to hit Harris for not having a plan when his answer on what his alternative to Obamacare would be is, I have the concept of a plan. I feel like she revealed the real Trump in full just the way that he descended into lies and incoherence and the kind of extremism on issues like abortion. If you're making up your mind between voting for Kamala Harris and voting for Donald Trump, your sources of information are not necessarily mainstream sources of information. It is podcasts and social media and things you hear from your friends and sort of strange notions that stick with you. Michelle, what do you think this debate will be remembered for? I think it will be remembered for concept of a plan. It will be remembered for the talk of eating pets. I think it will be remembered for Trump refusing to give an answer on whether he would sign a national abortion ban. And Donald Trump keeps repeating this lie. No, everybody did not want Roe versus Wade overturned. No. Democrats did not want Roe versus Wade overturned. Kamala Harris was talking about real people having real tragedies. If you live in states with, as she said, the Trump bans, having terrible consequences come to you. And Trump is talking about how, first, he said West Virginia, then he said Virginia, where live babies are being put to death, which is just a total lie. You can trace the germ of it in something that the former Virginia governor said. And then it was amplified into this kind of right-wing urban legend. Again, if you are conversant in that stuff, you know what he was talking about. It is just crazy. If Kamala Harris spends the last four weeks of this campaign basically arguing over and over again, you cannot trust Donald Trump, it will be helpful to her campaign. You cannot trust him on abortion rights. You cannot trust him on the economy. You cannot trust him with Vladimir Putin. You cannot trust him on the Gaza Israel war. You cannot trust him on crime. You cannot trust him on tariffs, on China, on Ukraine. Moderate voters who are looking for reasons to vote for Harris, they want to turn the page on Donald Trump. Michelle, so right after the debate, Taylor Swift endorsed Kamala Harris. She signed the post, Taylor Swift, childless cat lady. It happened as we were taping. We do not see a lot of debates where a candidate does herself a world of good and her opponent a world of hurt. There still may be questions about who Kamala Harris is, but there is no question going into this debate and coming out of it. She is standing stronger. 1D United States. Be cautious when you burn fall fire season is almost here. MSN 9 reasons you should avoid a wood burning fireplace. 2 Alaska Fairbanks. Effort to improve wintertime air quality in Fairbanks, Alaska may not be as effective as intended. Fizz.org particulate matter commonly referred to as PM 2.5. Particles of 2.5 micrometers or fewer can cause respiratory illnesses and heart ailments. 3A Arizona. Grand Canyon National Park partially reopens for overnight stays ITTN, i.e. ITTN. There are also fire restrictions in place which currently prohibit all wood burning and charcoal fires and campfires. Arizona Office of 3B Arizona Superior. Wood fire sees little growth. 45% contained. My radio place. September 8th, the wood fire south of Superior experienced little to no growth Sunday despite high winds, low humidity, and high temperatures. 4A California. Out of control line fire in Southern California threatens homes the Mercury News. Smoke from the advancing line fire rises above a ridge in Mintone and wood smoke. The South Coast Air Quality Management District issued a 4B California. Dozens of cities told to stop grilling amid very unhealthy conditions. Newsweek. Smoke. The South Coast Air Quality Management District AQMD. Alert the alert continued avoid burning wood in your fireplace or fire pit. 4C California Berkeley. California has dramatically improved its air quality but racial disparities persist Berkeley News. While Hispanics and Black Californians, the groups exposed to the highest levels of vehicle pollution have seen the largest reductions in PM 2.54 D California Coachella Valley. Supervisor V. Manuel Perez what science is telling us about Coachella Valley air quality. The Desert Sun. 
Those levels of PM10 and PM2.5 have gone down in the months after the storm. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, TSP does not. 4E California Humboldt County. Winter fire safety tips. Or how to lessen your chances of burning your own home to the lost coast outpost. As winter temperatures approach, the use of fireplaces with stove space heaters and other alternative heating methods tends to rise. 4F California, Los Angeles. Smoke advisory unhealthy air quality declared due to smoke from multiple fires. LA County Department of Public Health. Do not use fireplaces either with burning or gas. 4G California, Los Angeles. Lightning could worsen wildfire east of LA already threatening 35,000 homes and buildings main achieved. JP would post along a railing on the side of a road smolders after the line fire. 4H California, Los Angeles. Smoke advisory for LA County due to fires scvnews.com smoke suit or ash or where there is a smell of smoke. This also do not use fireplaces either with burning or gas candles and vacuums. For I California, Los Angeles. LA's extreme heat is making the air worse to breathe. Here is why. LA's particulate matter shown as PM2.5 or PM10 and ground level ozone O3 common pollutants have been shown to rise when it's hotter. 4J California, Los Angeles. Smoke advisory unhealthy air quality declared due to smoke from multiple fires LA County Department of Public Health do not use fireplaces either with burning or gas. 4K California Rancho Santa Margarita. Plumes of smoke drift skyward as airport fire rages Yahoo News UK would said he filmed these videos from Rancho Santa Margarita on Monday smoke billowing into the sky. 4L California Riverside. Q&A what exactly is going up in flames? UCR News UC Riverside University of California Riverside a small fraction of turns in particulate matter with particle sizes of less than 2.5 micron in diameter or PM 2.54 M California San Jose. San Jose seeks receiver to seize control of fire torched lot of blight Silicon Valley fire scorched debris and wood on a vacant lot at 100 North 4th Street in downtown San Jose. Two fires. 5A Colorado. The Chafee County Times. Smoke from prescribed fire may affect your health. For more information visit https forward slash forward slash defeat. Colorado. Gov slash Woods Mokindi or Health 5B Colorado Denver. Propane to replace wood burning on a camping trip. Three gear picks for your next camping trip Axios Denver. The durable portable campfire runs on propane and offers a long lasting flame to mimic a wood burning fire. Burn bands. Thermocell. 6 Florida. Marion Firefighters Combat Commercial Building Fire in Bellevue Ocalanews.com. Shortly after 7 a.m. on Saturday, September 7th, a 9 caller reported that a smell of burning wood was coming from a commercial building located. 7 Idaho Boise. Air quality concerns. The Boise community is affected by local wildfires. The Arbiter Boise State. Sims also touched on the impacts wildfires have on children's mental health due to the excessive exposure to PM 2.5 throughout the day. 8 Maine. Maine, New Hampshire, and Massachusetts could see thick wildfire smoke Thursday and Friday. 92 Moose. While the smoke is expected to make the sky look milky, and there may be a smell of wood smoke in the air, it is unlikely that the smoke will affect. 9A Minnesota. PM 2.5 and antibiotic resistance. Study exposure to air pollution may increase antibiotic use for respiratory symptoms. Sidrap University of Minnesota. They also observed a delayed association between increases in PM 2.5 concentration and antimicrobial consumption between day. 9B Minnesota. Woman says she was lucky to get out alive Rochester, Minnesota. Post Bulletin. Coals had been left in the home's wood burning stove to burn out, and everything appeared to be fine, she said. Just as she returned to her. 9C Minnesota Cook County Grand Marais. Wildfire burning in the BWCA northeast of Ely at Wood Lake Tip, a small wildfire, is burning at Wood Lake within the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness BWCAW. On Tuesday, September 10th, at approximately 11 a.m., 10 Missouri Cape, Girardeau. Burn bans, no burn advisories issued in the Heartland MSN. Extremely dry conditions have leaders in some Heartland communities issuing burn bans and no burn advisories. Nine reasons you should avoid a Wood 11A Montana. Air quality monitors to be installed at every Montana high school for athlete safety. Montana Sports, the sensors monitor Montana air pollutant of concern particulate matter PM 2.5. Basically what it does is it reports the particulate matter. 11B Montana Helena. Weather-wise air quality KTVH if you are outside those old COVID masks offer more protection and filtration against larger PM 2.5 smoke particles. But the best way to prevent point 12 New York Syracuse. Syracuse fire crews contain kitchen fire six people displace CNY Central. Firefighters arrived at a two-story wood frame multiple family home with smoke from the open front door. Less than two minutes later the smoke. 13A Oregon. Central Oregonians have become sadly familiar with smoky skies. Ash a byproduct of burning vegetation wood and man-made materials has Indiana Lafayette. September 10th, 6 p.m. weather forecast update. Very warm dry weather. Eyes on WLFI wood burning smell. The plastic smell is the hydrocarbons in the wood smoke reacting with the sun's UV rays over a long period of time forming. 13B Oregon Bend. How Central Oregon is dealing with the recent smoke and ash from wildfires KTVZ 13C Oregon Douglas County. Air quality alert until 5 o'clock p.m. Wednesday KQEN News Radio. DQ said wildfires burning in the region combined with. Avoid using wood burning stoves and other sources of indoor smoke if possible. 13D Oregon Roseburg. Air quality alert until 5 o'clock p.m. Wednesday KQEN News Radio. Smoke levels can change rapidly depending on the weather. Asterisk avoid using wood burning stoves and other sources of indoor smoke if possible. 14 Wisconsin Madison. Incident date September 11, 2024, 503 a.m. Address 500 block West Washington Avenue. Details Madison officers responded to the 500 block of West Washington Avenue early Wednesday morning for a report of an explosion and people seeing flames. MFD and MPD arrived on scene, located where the fire was coming from, and it appeared to have started on the backside of the residence. Flames were reaching the third floor and smoke filled the attic. The residence was successfully evacuated with no injuries. There were two other fires in downtown Madison within a short period of time, so MPD's arson detectives responded to the scene. 
At this time, the investigation is ongoing, and more information will be released at a later time. 15 Canada, British Columbia. Control burn plan near Cranbrook next week, BC News Castanet. Net Castanet. The BC Wildfire Service says the goals of the burn include reduce accumulations of continuous matted grasswood and combustible material. 16 Brazil. Drought is making Sao Paulo's river emerald green while smoke turns its skies gray. WODTV.com with TV8 News app. 17A United Kingdom. Act now to avoid fines of 300 pounds for using your log burner as temperatures drop. Daily Express. Under government regulations, anyone living within a smoke control area is limited on the amount of smoke they can release from wood-burning stoves. 17B United Kingdom. Homeowners with log burners could face 300 pounds fines this week express, though. UK Daily Express. Wood-burning stoves in their homes. As of 2022, the new laws stipulate the type of log burner you can buy and what you can burn in it to avoid. Fines for using a wood-burning stove are only applicable if you fail to comply with the proper legislation, for instance, if you burn the wrong fuel. 17C United Kingdom. New log burner rules introduced which could land users with 300-pound fine daily record. Wood-burning stoves in their homes, the Express reports. Woman putting wood on a wood-burning stove. An Icelandic blast is. 17D United Kingdom. Unbeknown homeowners face 300 pounds fines for breaking new rules Birmingham live. They went on to underline that the rule encompasses all burning materials including wood coal and even eco-fuels. For detailed guidance on smoke, United Kingdom. Unbeknown homeowners face 300 pounds fines for breaking new rules MSN woodbinning rules. By 2024 individuals could face fines of up to 300 pounds and over 1.5 million Brits have woodbinning stoves in their homes. 17E United Kingdom. Urgent warning issued to avoid fines of 300 pounds for using your log burner Yahoo News UK. Luckily wood burning stoves are counted as an exempt appliance in these areas, but only if they demonstrate low smoke emissions. 17F, United Kingdom, Birmingham. Urgent warning issued to avoid fines of 300 pounds for using your log burner, Birmingham Live. Wood burning stoves in a bid to cut down on air pollution. The government website says that many homes in the UK fall within these smoke. United Kingdom, Birmingham. UK households switching on log burner between now and December face 300 pounds fines. Birmingham Live. Urban areas with high particulate pollution face restrictions on burning, would to avoid more particulates spewing into the air. 17G, United Kingdom, Gloucester. Wood burning stoves new 2024, 300 pounds, fines warning as Icelandic blast sweeps in. Gloucestershire Live. DEFRA appointed Hades and would sure to run the RTV fuel certification scheme in order to achieve cleaner burning of wood. Smoke control areas. Last month our research found that nearly 1 in 10 wood burning and solid fuel stove users leave it years before sweeping their chimneys putting. 17H United Kingdom Lancaster. Wood burning stoves warning after first 300 pound fine and Icelandic blast approaching. Lanks live. There are around 1.5 million British households cozying up with wood burning stoves and about 200,000 new stoves light up homes each year. 17I United Kingdom Leicester. Wood burning stove owners told take action. After first 300 pound fine, Leicestershire Live, Leicester Mercury. The weather warning comes as estimates suggest that the popularity in wood burners has grown over recent years with as many as 1.5 million homes in. 17J United Kingdom Leeds. Urgent warning issued to avoid fines of 300 pounds for using your log burner. Leeds Live. Smoke they can release from wood burning stoves in a bid to cut down on air pollution. The government website says that many homes in the UK. 17K United Kingdom Wales. Wood burning stoves new 2024, 300 pounds, fines warning as Icelandic blast sweeps in Wales online. So you don't need to replace your existing log burning stove as new wood burner stove rules and regulations will have no impact there. 18 Ghana. Smoke from wood fuel poses health risks health officer Ghana Webb. The secure South District Health Promotion Officer says exposure to smoke poses significant health risks, particularly for 19 Nigeria and India the Punjab. Nigerian households use a range of energy from wood to solar. The conversation. Dust, dirt, soot, or smoke that people breathe in. About 70% of the population is exposed to this air pollution and particulate matter contributes. 20A India. Air pollution soars in southern Indian cities outlook business. PM 2.5 or fine particulate matter is a type of air pollution that consists of tiny particles that are 2.5 micrometers or less in diameter. 20B India. Air Quality Life Index Daily Excelsior. PM 2.5 Standard. India's air pollution crisis is not just an environmental issue but a public health emergency. 20C India. Next phase of India's National Clean Air Program prioritizes PM 2.5 and pollution control. Down to Earth. The next phase of India's National Clean Air Program emphasizes PM 2.5 as a key metric in combating air pollution. 20D India Bengaluru and Mysore. September 7, 2024. In Bengaluru PM 2.5 and PM 10 levels exceed WHO standards by 56 times and 34.5 times respectively. My source pollution correlates with India. Mangaluru joins Bengaluru in list of South Indian cities with alarming pollution levels Mangalore today. Com the report titled Spare the Air 2 raises serious health concerns as average levels of particulate matter PM 2.5 in 10 major cities India. Greenpeace India warns of deteriorating air quality in Bengaluru Mangaluru Mysore PTI PM 2.5 or fine particulate matter is a type of air pollution that consists of tiny particles that are 2.5 micrometers or less in diameter. Daily Pioneer. 20E India Karnataka. South Indian cities record alarming pollution levels Mysore joins List News Karnataka. Bengaluru's pollution monitoring indicated that PM 2.5 and PM 10 levels exceeded both WHO and NOx standards at many locations. 20F India Kolkata. PCB aims to cut PM 10 and 2.5 in six cities to clean up ambient air Kolkata news. Times of India. PCB aims to cut PM 10 and 2.5 in six cities to clean up ambient air Kolkata Bengal Pollution Control Board aims to cut both PM 10 and PM 2.5 in Kolkata 20G India Punjab. Can smog be far behind? Share thenews.com. PK The News International The government is hoping for an improvement on the smog front this year, although experts and environmentalists remain skeptics. 21 Thailand. 
Kaoyai National Park to enforce strict measures. Nation Thailand. The initiative aims to reduce PM2.5 dust pollution, preserve the natural environment, and maintain clean air quality. 22 APM2.5 and antibiotic resistance. Air pollution spikes drive unnecessary antibiotic use, fueling resistance news medical. The primary air pollutant triggers of respiratory tract distress include suspended particulate matter 2.5 microns PM2.5 and COPD. Air pollution genetics increase risks for COPD among patients with asthma helio PM2.5 and COPD were found among those patients with the highest exposures. The most significant finding is that the higher level of exposure to PM2.5 22 CPM 2.5 and 32 health conditions. Air pollution and risk of 32 health conditions outcome wide analyses in a population based BMC Medicine Biomed Central. We aim to assess the individual and joint associations of fine particulate matter PM2.5 along with its chemical components nitrogen dioxide NO2, 22 DPM, 2.5, and hospitalizations. Air pollution increases risks for respiratory ED visits hospitalizations helio. Particulate matter black carbon and nitrogen dioxide were associated with increased risks for respiratory hospitalizations. PM2.5 sick area prepares for prescribed fire treatments Chafee County Times. Com 22 EPM 2.5 and kidney disease. Air pollution tied to kidney glomerular disease progression renal and urology news particulate matter less than 2.5 micrometers in diameter PM2.5 is generated by the combustion of solid and liquid fuels. Risk for the composite 22 FPM 2.5 and limiting economic mobility. Air pollution exposure in infancy may limit economic mobility in adulthood science daily. Childhood PM2.5 exposure and upward mobility in the United States. Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences 2024. 22 GPM 2.5 and lightning strikes. James Madison University professor links pollution with lightning strikes Virginia Mercury. 2.5 and particulate matter tiny carcinogens. The storm formed at about 6 p.m. northwest of Richmond before rain fell at 6.10 p.m. 22 HPM 2.5 and lung cancer. Beyond smoking lung cancer drivers include pollution. American Journal of Managed Care. The fine particulate matter known as PM2.5 is especially insidious as it infiltrates the bronchioles and alveolar cells and causes systemic effects. 22 IPM 2.5 and lung cancer. Pollution exposure may affect lung cancer in women who have never smoked. Medical Express. The International Agency for Research on Cancer IRC categorized outdoor air pollution and its key component particulate matter PM2.5 as Group 122 JPM 2.5 and subway pollution. Study finds subway pollution is too high Columbia University. In his analysis, Azad found the average particulate matter known as PM2.5 in the subway to be 10 times more polluted than the air above ground 22 kpm 2.5 and transnational. Reducing behavior against transnational particulate matter. ResearchGate. Efficiency of the EU environmental policy in struggling with fine particulate matter PM2.5. How agriculture makes a difference? 23. Wood burning and lung cancer. Silent threat that could crack the mystery of lung cancers in non-smokers daily mail. They can be emitted by wood burning and smoking. Lung cancer for those who smoke or have never smoked but are diagnosed with the disease.